Alright, um, Lee, first of all, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us today. Um, just gives your thoughts on the season and how it's gone. Obviously, you know, one de one defeat in the league all season is pretty mirac miraculous. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's, it's been a fantastic season. Um, like you said, I think the most pleasing aspect has been the performances. I think we, you know, we've done it in style and we've been the dominant team. And I think we deserve yeah, our promotion spot. So, um, no, it's, it's fantastic now to have achieved our objective and, and get back up there to where we should be. And that's it, you know, you say where we should be and it is a club that feels like they should be in the top fight and obviously that was the aim before the start of the season. Yeah. Um, exactly that there's that has to be the aim to be in the top the top league but also competing um, but I think again it's probably I'm doing it a bit injustice where we should be you know you have to go and do it as well it, it wasn't easy we seen in the first year we didn't get we didn't get promoted um, Matt's come in and done a, an amazing job and yeah we, we've we've done the job and you have to do the job in front of you and just eight goals conceded all season which is you know the next closest is over double that you know, how, how important has that defensive record been and you know how 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 hard have you worked at that as a unit yeah I, I, yeah I didn't realize that was those were the stats um to be honest so well, it's in, it's in, it's been an incredible effort I think team effort because it starts from the top and you know tactically we've we've defended from the front um, but also Lawsy has had a fantastic season and goal uh, you know the eight only conceding eight and some of the saves she's made this season but we have worked extremely hard in the training ground and it's been it's probably been a you know a, bi a big reason why we have gotten over the line with two games to go what's been the major difference then this season compared to last season in terms of you know adapting to the championship um i suppose there's been a lot of you know learning from that first season with the group of players that were there um you know we didn't know what we were going into that first year and also matt has come in and he's brought in his players with them that have strengthened the squad. Uh, and then Matt himself has obviously been a title winning manager and he's had that experience and know how to get us over the line. So, yeah, there's a, there's a combination of factors, but all of those have definitely played key roles. And obviously, when the club went down to the championship, you know, you stuck with the club and you're a player that's played in the WSL before. You know, do you feel like now you're excited to get back in the WSL and, you know, what's the aims there? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, I want to be. I want to be playing in the the top league, but I also want to be playing there with Liverpool. Um, you know, when we did get relegated, I I didn't have any passion or desire to want to leave the club. This is you know this feels like home now, and I'm just delighted that we can be at the top league now and, and competing there. And am I right in thinking that you're a Liverpool supporter as a as a child as well? Yeah, uh, born and bred Liverpool supporter. Um, yeah, we grew grew up with Steve McManaman and Robbie Fowler, Michael Owen, John Barnes, all the lads. So. Uh, it was it, it was when they weren't going too well, to be fair, yeah. and I, all my friends were Man United fans, so I got a lot of stick. So I'm glad to say the tables have turned now, and I'm, I'm uh, on both sides. I'm, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> We've just been speaking to Leanne Kernan, so you can speak to her family yeah. on Sunday and really rub it in. <laughs> exactly. Uh, um, but so as a Liverpool supporter as well, like how much you know? Do you even do you get some sort of belief or you know from seeing the men's team doing so well do you take anything that you see from them into your game as well yeah of course they're the men the last couple of years the men's team have been outstanding um the way they go about it their style of play uh, the consistency they're, they're a great example for all of us and I, I love watching them even if you know I'm, I'm a fan so i'm probably a bit biased but you can't not admire that liverpool team and, and the way they they play football and the passion and energy that they bring to it as well it's it's fantastic so yeah you, of course you want to try and emulate it they're at the real pinnacle of their game but no they're an inspiration for everybody so will you be emulating the Hendo Shuffle on Sunday? Yeah, I know. I've been getting this a, a good few questions. Bo Kearns has been on about me and, and she's saying now, she's changing her mind now. She doesn't know which, which one I should do. So um, we'll, well, I have to decide. It's not, it's not been uh, discussed properly 100% yet. I have to practice that one. <laughs> um, and hopefully then that would lead to, I believe it's a quintuple. You know, everybody's talking about the quadruple, but with the women's team, how are oh, we wrapping right. up the league? It would be the quintuple. <laughs> well, we're tagging on there. I mean... No, oh, it, it's fantastic. We've achieved, achieved our objective, but um, no, if the hopefully the men can uh, can you know get a couple of those titles, they've had an unbelievable season. So yeah, ho hopefully they can get a few in the bag. You spoke about McManaman and Fowler, Barnes, those kind of players in the '90s Liverpool. But who was your role model? Who did you model your game on? Obviously now you're a centre half, so. Yeah, you know, Mark Wright. Or... Yeah, no, no. I know when I when I was younger, I wanted to be a striker. 
Um, so like Michael Owen was the was the hot prospect then. So I used to pretend I was Michael Owen out the back of my garden, and uh, yeah, he, he was he was my the name on my shirt and stuff. Um, yeah, so uh, it's probably not the most popular decision as time has gone on. But at that time, he was banging in the goal, so he, he was the one that I wanted to be. We all did it. Um, <laughs> but how important is it now that, you know, hopefully these questions, when they're asked in 10, 20 years, and girls will be able to say, well, my role model growing up was Neve or Missy Bo. Yeah, it's huge. Um, there's been like a massive campaign in Ireland around women's sport and if you can't see it, you can't be it. And that was the, the slogan and the, and the catch line. Um, and I think that's huge. You know, you get young girls now coming and they've got Bo Kearns or they've got Mel Lawley or they've got Nephi in, in Ireland as well. I've got so many, uh, you know, dads and moms that are going getting Fahi on the backs of their shirts for their, their young girls and, and young boys as well. There's so many young boys here that are getting inspired. So we have a huge role to inspire the next generation. It's going to be massive for them going forward for what they can see themselves to be in the future. Perfect. And just finally, we're asking everybody for the Players Player of the Year. I don't know if you've done a vote on it or if you've planned no. to put a vote in, but who would be your player? Of the uh, I'd have to go Lawsy. I think she's been uh, not just with the clean sheets, but uh, even from her distribution, she's been a key, a key role to the team this season. So uh, she's well deserving of a Player of the Year award, I think.